A wake up from the Anno Classic 2023, physique updates are looking freakier and freakier. Nick Walker has skin tearing pump after a high cup day. This is the last leg workout six days out from the Anno Classic. Matt Jensen has his work cut out as two of his best athletes have to go head to head. The mutant against the giant killer. The giant killer is eight pounds heavier a week out from the Anno Classic than he was a week out from the Olympia. Can't help wonder how much of this weight would he retain after dropping water. And most importantly, how will he stack up against the big boys? Guys like Justin Rodriguez outweigh him by over 50 pounds. Sure, he will definitely outcondition them, but they are bigger and taller than him. If these guys don't miss their peak, then his conditioning will have to do a lot of heavy lifting. Sean has one of the best back poses, rear lat spread and back double biceps. And he can take down a lot of big guys with those two back poses. From the front, he looks narrow, but from the back, he is very wide. One of the biggest challenges that Sean will face is that there is someone who has a similar physique to him, but bigger than him. That is the conqueror, William Bonner. Yes, Sean might have an upper hand conditioning wise, but William is bigger and thicker. In 2019, we saw William Bonag place ahead of the most conditioned Hadi Joban. So if the judging criteria hasn't changed and William Bonag does not show up off, he is most likely going to place ahead of Sean Florida. If Sean cannot take down Bonag, then he has a huge mountain to climb to be in the conversation for the win. As I've mentioned on my previous video, the presence of Sean Florida in this lineup has motivated all these athletes to work even harder because no one wants to be humiliated by getting defeated by someone who's way smaller than them. That is not the only issue some of these athletes are facing. Patrick Moore has to show the results of his full year off season. He has to show significant improvements, otherwise he runs the risk of being irrelevant. Akim Williams needs to live up to his potential and he needs to rebuild trust with his fans. Andrew Jack has to show that switching coaches was a good idea and all the hard work he has been putting in is not in vain. Big Ramy has a lot to prove with himself and to his fans. The majority of the bodybuilding community was counting on him last year bringing his best. This is his opportunity to redeem himself and go claim that $300,000. That's about it. Catch you on the next update.